Hey, hey everybody, I'm Sean Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com and today I'm gonna walk you through how to use the brand new Rampant Modern Slideshow 01 Premiere Pro Template. What's that you say, Premiere Pro Template? Yeah, this is an After Effects. It's not dynamic link, no plugins. It's 100% built natively inside Premiere Pro so you can get your job done and not worry about any additional software, right? So just change the text, swap out your footage and you are good to go. We've done all the heavy lifting for you and you get to look like a rock star. So uh, yeah, that's about it. So let's go ahead and go to our Finder if you're on the Mac or Windows Explorer if you're on a PC and go ahead and look for, go search for your uh, Rampant Modern Slideshow Premiere Pro project. Before we open it up, let's go over what you're gonna find in the zip file. So obviously you would find the Premiere Pro project, can't do anything without that. And then you're gonna find an installation PDF and a bunch of placeholders for your video, okay. So let's uh, highlight the uh, PDF file. It shows you exactly uh, how to open the file, what, it's, uh, what the file is compatible with, what fonts we use, how to open up a support ticket, and of course, how to call us if you have any questions. Real, real, real simple. Um, this particular uh, file, this particular uh, template was built in Premiere Pro CC 2015. That's right, this is a CC 2015 Premiere Pro project. So anything uh, that's uh, earlier than uh, 2015, which would be what, 2014 CC, uh, CS4, 5, and 6, that's just not compatible. This particular uh, file is compatible only with CC uh, 2015 and above, so it'll be 2015 and 2017. All right, so what do we do? Well, let's go ahead and, and either double-click on this project or import this project into Premiere. Either way, I'm just going to go ahead and double-click on it, and we're going to get into Premiere. Okay, when you open up the Rampant Modern Slideshow 01 project file, this is what you're going to get. It's uh, basically got something, a timeline called your timeline. And if you scrub through it, it's the output of our project, which uh, is very similar to many of the other timelines that we have, right? And then over here in the project window, it, you have your work area. So uh, your work, you know, this is where you make your changes. Really simple. There's only two steps to this entire template. You're either going to uh, change your video or you're going to change your text. So let's start over here with one and put your video here, right? I don't have any video, I need some video. So let's go ahead and import. And I'm gonna bring in some of my favorite stock footage from Shutterstock, one of my uh, favorite stock video companies. All right, now, I'm gonna double click on the scene one video timeline. And it's gonna take me here and it says video one. Replace with your video. Well, it's exactly as it sounds. Let's go ahead and either replace the file directly or put it above your call, whatever you want. And then when you click over to your timeline, it trickles down into the shot and like, oh wait, Yep, that's right, everything we build is procedural. If you make a change, it trickles down. No matter what you do, if you change the text, you change the video, it will automatically trickle down to this timeline. Well, that's cool, so let's just go ahead and, and repeat the same process for scene two, right? Double click, find a clip of video you want, that looks cool, and either put it over it or on top of it, replace it, whatever you wanna do. And then if I hit play, it goes from the, the bass dude, right, to the singer dude. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and replace one more video. I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but we'll replace one more video so you get the point. And we'll just drop this over. All right. So, as you can see, the video is completely being replaced. Very cool. All right, so then what next? Well, obviously you don't want anything saying your title, right? That's probably not what you want for your project. So let's go over here to the project window and twirl down, uh, closing up the uh, step one, and go to step two where it says edit text. Same thing as you did with video, you just go ahead and double click the first comp right here, the timeline, and it says text one, right? Well, I don't want it to say your text, so I'm gonna double click it, which will open it up in the title tool. I'm just gonna expand this so we get a little bit better of a view. And I don't know what to put here, so I'm just gonna look at my desk, and I happen to be drinking some water from Starbucks this morning. Uh, Final Cut stuff was kind enough to take me to Starbucks this morning. It's like my birthday. So I'm gonna go ahead and put ethos water. This is probably copywritten or no doubt copywritten. So obviously I'm not making any money off of this. Blah, 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 blah. So set it up, cool. Call it anything, right? So there's your ethos water, cool. Go back to your timeline. Like I said before, everything trickles down. This is procedural. Boom, there's your ethos water, right? And then it's gonna turn into your title. So just like we did before, I changed three video uh, layers. I'm gonna change three text layers, so double click. And I'm gonna double click on text two, which opens up that into the title and highlight it, All right, like so. So good. If I knew how to spell, that would be even better. Center it up, like so. So good, right? So I go over to your timeline, roll it back. Don't know why Ethos Water would be advertising with people singing, but I'm not the marketing guy. I'm just making the text. Okay, so we've got one more title to change. So double click. It says your title. Double click on text three. 
and change your title to so so good like i said i'm not i didn't write this commercial and it's a little bit big so i'm going to scale it down just a little bit and then i'll center it up like so like so close this out go back to your timeline roll it back hit play and instantly within a few seconds if i wasn't you know yammering on forever you would get a uh, very quick uh, slideshow a very quick timeline uh, just by replacing your footage and your text so there you go that's that simple you know so that's it this is a very simple project all you do is replace your footage like i said before replace your text and you're good to go and then when you're done when you're ready highlight your timeline go under file export media and then just spit out the file that you want. Uh, this could be a standalone thing. You could add some music. You could export it and bring it into another edit. You can bring the project into another edit. Uh, the possibilities are really limitless. So uh, for this uh, project file or any other Premiere Pro template files, go to premiertemplates.net. That's premiertemplates.net. And once again, I'm Sean Mullen for rampantdesigntools.com. Thanks for watching.